Hi there, Alex with Hostify. Um, just going to be looking at a problem that some people might be coming across. If you've got a Unify access point you just open from, from the box um, and it will not do a set in form to a cloud controller like Hostify or self-hosted, um, you might need to update the software um, and the easiest way to do that is to do it via SSH. Um, so I'm going to be walking you through the details how to do that. We do have our own uh, knowledge base article on how to do this that we've published. It outlines all the details, where to find the firmware from, Ubiquity's website, how to uh, get the URL for the firmware, and then how to upgrade the device to the latest software. So we're just gonna we're just gonna cover the details we've we've outlined in this article, but in video form. So I've, I have a uh, a UAP AC light that I've plugged into my Unify switch. Um, I've to replicate this example, I've downgraded it to the very old version of software. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how to upgrade it. So my Unify AC light is on 192.168.1.114, so it's responding on my network here. Um, we have our test environment on Hostify, where we're just going to adopt our Unify AC, AC light and get it adopted and work out what to do with the problem. So I'm just going to SSH into my AP. So we'll do in the macOS terminal, we'll do SSH UBNT. So the all the Unify devices have the default username of UBNT, and then at the IP address, in my case it's 192.168.1.114. Just going to think for a minute and ask us for a password, again, UBNT. So my AP is on a very old version of 3.7.58. Now to get this to work, you do set-inform, and then you need to get your, uh, your inform ID from your dashboard of Hostify, in my case, <coughs> I've got my inform address here, so we'll just paste that in. So we can see here the Unify AC light has not been adopted into the controller, it hasn't appeared to be showing up as for set inform. So the thing we need to do here is go back to our guide and have a look what we've put in here. So if we tried the set inform, but it's not showing up in the Unify controller or Hostify, there's a few things we can do. So we need to go and find the firmware for the device model we've got. So in this case I've got an AC light, but if you're not entirely sure what model you, you've got, you can look on the back of a back of an access point or switch or, or a USG and have a look what model it is. And then you go to the, the downloads page of the Ubiquiti website. So I'll look at the downloads page. In this case, ours is Unify. And then the latest software is, at the moment, 6.0.18 as of recording this video, 11th of May, 2022. So what we're gonna do, is SSH back into our back into our AP. So 192.168.1.114 UBNT again. And then look at our guide. It says go upgrade and then the URL of the the firmware. So um, what you do is you go to the software, press download, and then you press accept. And it gives you the option to either download the file to your machine or copy the URL to give to a device like we're doing here. So we'll upgrade the software on the Unify AC Lite and we'll come back when that's done. So after about two or three minutes, the AC Lite has come back on the latest software. <clears throat> so I'll just ring a ping here. So if I SSH back into the device, it should be running the latest version of the software for it. Now you can see it's on 6.0.18, just run the info on it. You can see that the MAC address, IP address, the uptime, and the software version. So now what we can do is go back to our test controller and do set inform, and then our custom URL for my controller. And give it a second, and it should. There we go, straight away it's appeared. And what you can do is adopt the device and then the LED on the device will go from white to blue once it's finished. So if we refresh that, it's adopting, and we'll go from solid white to solid blue, and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. This has been Alex from Hostify.